Hi guys, uh, long time no see, but I'm truly hoping that you are all safe and sound during those weird times. And I truly hope that uh, this upcoming summer season, uh, our Pride season will be way different from the last one. And we'll have abundance of opportunities to meet each other in person and it's been way too long. And uh, I truly hope for that. Um, in the meantime, I would like to tell you a bit about our initiative, Pride initiative that uh, we're gonna undertake with Adam uh, here in Poland. And uh, some of you may know that we've been running a Mucus Your HIV awareness campaign in Poland. And to kind of sum up um, the pre-COVID era of our campaigning, uh, we've managed to reach with our zero, discond zero discordant coming out audience of more than 4 million people across uh, all media that we appeared on and uh, across all the publications that we were a part of. And um, to our huge surprise and um, astonishment. Um, this whole multi-month campaigning ended up with a lot of positive um, response from different communities. And uh, the biggest surprise was that um, despite us using real names across the campaign, uh, to date we uh, were met with zero hate. Mm -hmm. Kind of a shocking um, revelation knowing uh, what uh, our country is going through right now and what is the uh, stance on LGBTQ community right now. And uh, fast forward to now, uh, we want to use this opportunity and a privilege, because it's a privilege to uh, be able to talk about living with HIV, um, being a LGBTQ person uh, in public and uh, have this kind of uh, response. Uh, so we want to use it, this privilege to push the message out much further than we did uh, previously. And to do that, uh, we uh, want to resume our campaigning this year with a multi-directional uh, campaigning. And uh, so far we have a Polish and English uh, website, uh, which gives us a huge um, access to way more people than we had pre-COVID. Pre and uh, we also have amazing opportunity to literally go directly to the streets with our message. Um, the whole situation with COVID uh, shifted a lot of things as you all uh, know perfectly from your own um, reality. The one that is really important to our campaign is the commercial um, spaces that uh, usually are filled with abundance of um, ad campaigns, but right now they are way more available to initiatives like ours and we can bring our message of living with HIV, about going to treatment when you are uh, HIV positive and as a whole is a, I think a kind of a ultimate positive and hopeful message of solidarity, of mutual care and uh, something that we may all need this year uh, after the trauma or during this trauma that we are still experiencing due to COVID. Uh, the opportunity is there um, due to my professional background. I have uh, direct access to those spaces and we can get a really sweet deal um, during those upcoming months. And this is also a great opportunity because um, many restrictions will be going down during upcoming months. People will go out to the streets, pubs, to restaurants, to literally every space that is possible um, outside of their uh, flats, homes, etc. And on those streets they will be able to meet us to receive this whole message about um, you equals you, about living. Uh, with another virus. And to make this happen, uh, we need your help. This campaign uh, from the very beginning is a grassroots uh, campaign that we self-fund uh, because we don't want any interference from government regarding anything related to our sexual health. This campaign is our life story. So we are self-funding our efforts. Uh, we did uh, one crowdfunding in 2019 and uh, this year it would be amazing if uh, we could get your support to make this outdoor campaign a reality. We have everything that we need in terms of uh, 
design, copywriting and production uh, from the kind of a pre-production perspective, but the whole commercial side of it. So renting the space, printing out those posters, banners, etc., etc. This is a whole different story. Uh, that's when uh, my pledge for your support comes in. Uh, we prepared a few um, thank you uh, specialty items, uh, solidarity items that we prepared uh, just for this uh, occasion and opportunity and uh, it would be amazing if you can help us uh, reaching uh, that goal of making this campaign a reality. Um, to give you even more um, insight into uh, what is uh, going on, how it's all progressing and of course the final uh, showcase uh, will be a culmination of this whole project and uh, I think a kind of unique pride uh, project uh, that we can achieve together and uh, make it a reality and bring our pride literally to the streets. Um, yeah, so this message is kind of long but I hope that it's kind of a exciting one too because um, we are truly uh, excited for this to happen and uh, we hope to have you on board with us and uh, let's do something let's do some positive damage <laughs> in this madness of a reality that we have here in Poland so thank you and see you soon bye